Hi all, welcome to Andrea M. D'Souza's Kitchen. Today I am going to teach you one of my childhood favourites that is mutton mince or keema stuffed in different kinds of vegetables such as capsicum, tomatoes and karelas. When I was younger, my dad would make this dish quite frequently. He would stuff mince in tomatoes and capsicums and fry them until they were nice and brown and that brought all the taste to it. And my mother remembered that her mother would stuff mince in karelas and they also loved it as children. So after a long time, I thought, why not try this recipe and put it up on my YouTube channel. There are different ways in which you can prepare this mince. Now, I have put a particular recipe today, but there is also another recipe where I have made mince in red masala. You can try that out also. Both these recipes are on my YouTube channel. Eating these stuffed vegetables today brought back a number of wonderful memories. I hope you also enjoy it as much as we did. Suppose you do not want to use mutton mince, you can also make it with chicken mince or maybe even paneer if you are a vegetarian. So do try it out and let me know how much you enjoyed it. But before I go ahead with the recipe, just a few usual reminders. Do remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and to also share it with your friends and family who love eating good food. My recipes are mostly Goan, but yes, there are also other recipes which you and your family can enjoy. I also have two other YouTube channels, that is Andrea M. D'Souza, the English teacher and Sleep Stories with Andrea M. D'Souza. Do visit those channels too and like the videos and share them with your families and friends. Now, before saying anything more, I'll move on to the recipe so that you also can enjoy this recipe as much as we did. I'll begin with the mince preparation first. You can prepare the mince and keep it aside to cool before you stuff it in the vegetables. I'm going to take around 4 or 5 medium sized onions and I'm going to chop them very fine. Then in my pan I'm going to take around 2 large cooking spoons of oil. This is the size of the spoon that I'm going to use. And, and when the oil is hot I'm going to add my onions. And I'm going to fry my onions until they are brownish tender and brown. You do not need too much of oil because anyway your mutton will leave out a lot of oil and you want your mince to be dry. So the less oil the better. While my onion is frying, I'll wash my mince well and keep it aside. I have used 1 kg of mutton mince. When my onion turns slightly brown and tender, I'm going to add around 2 tablespoons, 2 full tablespoons of jeera or cumin. I'll fry that for a minute or two. And then I'm going to add my mince to the onions and I'm going to let it fry on a high flame for around 5 minutes. High flame because I want my mince to turn brown and I also want that raw smell to go away. I will also continuously break the lumps that are formed because I do not like my keema to be lumpy. Once all the lumps are broken and that raw smell is gone, I'll add around 1 teaspoon of salt. You can add salt according to your own taste. And I'm also going to add around 2 heaped teaspoons of grated garlic and grated ginger. You can also crush or grind it if you like. I will also be adding around 2 or 3 chopped green chilies and around 2 sprigs of kadipatta leaves stoned with the hand. After that I'm going to add around 2 finely chopped tomatoes and I'm going to mix everything well and then I'm going to cover it and let it cook on a very low flame for around half an hour. As it is cooking on a low flame, you will notice that you do not need to add any water because this mutton will leave out its own water and a lot of its own oil. So it will cook in its own juices. After half an hour, add around 2 heaped tablespoons of chilli powder. You can add even less if you think it is too spicy for you. And also add around 2 tablespoons, that is again heaped tablespoons of dhania or coriander powder. Again, mix it very well and break the lumps and cover it and let it cook on a very low flame for another 10 or 15 minutes. This is what it will look like in around 15 minutes. You mix it well once you open it and you add around quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder or maybe half teaspoon. I have used Andrea's special garam masala powder. You can find the recipe in my YouTube channel. In case you don't have that, 
you can use whichever garam masala powder that you have at home mix it all well and then switch off the flame after 2 3 minutes of adding that garam masala powder it looks very appetizing doesn't it once it cools down a little bit add around uh, the juice of one small lime and add some coriander leaves and chopped green chilies and mix it all well before serving you can eat it with pav you can eat it with parathas chapatis you can use it as a filling for your samosas or your potato chops or you can just eat it plain anything that you like but as i said earlier i will be stuffing them into these fresh lovely vegetables that i have here i have karela i have tomatoes and i have capsicums i've washed them well and i've scooped out the insides now the insides of the tomato can be used later on for gravy or for puree or for anything that you'd like to prepare the seeds from these capsicums i have thrown out the karela was a little tough to clean you need to cut off the top and the bottom part and just lightly grate the skin so that it is not very bitter then make a slit and take a spoon and remove the seeds this takes a little bit of time uh, my grandmother as i heard from my mother used to boil the karelas a bit you can also partially boil the karelas and then stuff them with the mince but i have just used the raw vegetables okay now i have stuffed my mince in this and i have kept it aside in my frying pan i'll just cover it up properly with the correct covers that i have okay now this looks like the correct cover so i have covered them do not throw these covers out you need to cover the uh, vegetables so that they look good now once i'm done covering all this i'm going to keep it on the gas let the flame be high for a few minutes and pour around one large cooking spoon of oil spread it around a little bit on the top of veg of the vegetables and a little bit down to and just let it cook for a couple of minutes on a high flame after that i'm going to cover it and lower the flame to medium and let it cook keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn in any one side that you keep it okay my vegetables look quite ready i have also turned them around a bit so that they get a little brown and they are also evenly cooked on all sides because this is what brings the flavor to the vegetables a little bit of brownish color as well as a little bit of burnt taste makes it absolutely amazing it looks very mouth watering doesn't it so do try it out you can enjoy it with your dal rice you can have it plain with chapatis or with bread or you can enjoy it in any way that you like do try it out and let me know how much you and your family loved it i'm looking forward to your smss your phone calls your emails as well as the pictures of the food that you cook and all the feedback that you give me about the recipes that you've tried out from my channel so do continue to send in your recipes do continue to send in your photographs of the food that you cook and also do not forget to like my videos and to subscribe to my youtube channel have a great day ahead